In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to take these dollar store pails and we're going to turn them into old worldly cement pots. You can even paint them and I'll show you how to make them old. So you ready? Let's do this. A while back, my mom came over with these pails she got at the dollar store. She thought I could use them. They were cute, but I figured everyone else had them too. So I wanted to make them a little different. So I picked up a bag of Portland cement. It's about $13 and it is very heavy, so you might need someone to help you carry it. You also want to pick up some sand so you can mix one to one ratio with this. I filled the cup up with three quarters worth of sand and put that in the bucket. Then I moved on to the Portland cement and I used a plastic spoon and I filled up the cup about three quarters of the way. When using cement, you should always wear gloves and a mask because you don't want to breathe that in. It could be really bad for your lungs and it does dry out your hands too. Pour in a little water and see what the consistency is. If it looks dry, add a little more water. We're going for like a cake batter kind of consistency. Your cement should look like this when you get done. Now on to the fun part. You're going to want to take a big scoop of that cement and put it right into the pail. And we're just going to kind of like coat the inside really good. This is what the inside should look like. I tip the pail over and I continue to put cement all over it until the whole thing was coated with cement. I'm not going to lie, it's messy, but it's fun. It's just like when you were a kid and you were playing in dirt. So you're going to want to let that dry a little bit. It's okay if not everything is covered because we're going to go back in with a little cement in just a little bit. I mixed up another batch of cement, but this time I made it a little bit thicker because we're going to use a stamp on that. I added a nice big clump of cement onto the front of the pail and I smoothed it a little and then I got the stamp out. You want to push very firmly on that and make sure that all the words and all the letters are going to show. So really push that down nice. And voila, that looks pretty darn good. You're going to want to keep a bucket of water on the side. That way you can wash your gloves and you can also wash out your stamps. You don't want to wash your hands or your stamps in the sink because after all, it really is cement that you're working with. Continue by finishing the rest of your pots by adding a little clay and then doing the stamp. So let's go and finish these up. We're going to take a little of that cement that is going to have like a clay consistency. It's a lot thicker than what we did with the cake batter. And we're going to clump that cement on spots that are showing where you can still see the pail. And also we're going to give it a little texture, you know, like an old worldly pot. So keep smushing that cement on there, just giving it a lot of texture as if it were an old pot in a windowsill, maybe like in Italy or some other part of Europe.
You're going to want to dry these overnight and in the morning they are going to be gorgeous. Just look at the character in that. So this is what they look like once they're all dry and I think they came out beautiful. They can even be painted and I'm going to teach you how to make them look old. With some white acrylic paint, you're going to want to brush on white all over the pot. It's okay to miss spots. It should look something like this once you're done. Don't worry about getting every spot because it's better if you don't paint everything. Now it's time for the Wise Owl Black Wax. You're going to want to get that in all the nooks and crannies and just make sure it's really in the lettering so that it'll stand out. Now you're going to want to take a cloth and wipe a lot of that off leaving it in the lettering and just enough on there to make it look old and aged. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this is Flea Market Rescue.